Let's continue on here with some more features that are in the entity selector. I'm going to go ahead and clear up what we've got now. I'm just going to zero out the table. I'm going to turn him off for a second. And what I'm going to do is use view select again and just get back to a regular plane view of the FEMAP model. I'm going to use the view toolbar here and go to uh, XZ view. So I'm looking down at this guy at the top. Hold down the Alt key and rotate this around. Now the entity selector is currently on multiple, but I'm also going to select beyond just individual entities. I want to select related items as well. So I'm going to come in, hold down the Shift key, and pick all these guys. Now what I've also done besides the elements, it's got all its connected nodes the properties, materials, any loads, boundary conditions are now all in the entity selection. The neat thing I can do here is I can copy this, start a new FEMAP model, and then paste it into this one. Some options on the paste, we can actually do an IDE offset if we want to keep things from running into each other if we already had existing entities. In this case the model's empty, I'll just say OK. Now we've basically created or copied a piece of our model over to a different model.